this is the interior with Nikria. The most important part is this. Ah! <laughs> Your hands are cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you, man, it's minus 34. <laughs> no, I don't have cold cap for you. Okay, we first uh, have some tea. That's how I start every interview. This is your first interview. This is my first podcast. So, yeah, you start every interview like this. Okay. <laughs> this is my podcast. And that's it, man. Till now, everyone in every interview you've done started like this. Yes. how this is done <sighs> ah you mean the folly sounds yeah, yeah. So, I came to your place two weeks ago, something like that, a little bit more, and uh, it has been fun, we, we built, well you built most of the, the log house, I helped a little bit, uh, I don't even remember the first time I came here, what we did. We you were started working on the door frame. Yeah. And I started sending it. Yes. Yeah. Not the door but the logs. Really, you have an interview you didn't turn off your phone. Good. Please answer, no problem. Take your time. Came, uh, I remember because uh, first it was pretty. I was still uh, working in socks. Yeah. And uh, with the chainsaw. Uh, I don't know if the day you came, I work with the chainsaw. Uh, no, but I saw some clips yeah. of you working with the, the day chainsaw. Before. Okay, and uh, I mean it, 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 it's amazing every time I come here to see uh, everything that you built, starting with the tree, with the log cabin, how we call that house? Log cabin, log house. Log cabin, log house near the jumps, the jumps. Ah, that one, the small one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call it log cabin. No, I mean everything. You have the log house where you lived for three months last year. Is at the log house. The small one small and the jumps. Yes, smaller and the jumps. Let's then you call have that one the log cabin. The log cabin. Then you have the tree house. Then you have the shutter. The, the, the small A-frame. The small A-frame that was also a drop. But that's pretty nice. The, the drop, drop house. Drop house and of course now the log house. Yeah, but... How long have you been building? Have you been building the log house now? When it was the beginning? Uh, I think two and a half years ago. October of 2018 or 19. 18? I was here 18, at the time. Yeah, 2018, October. Around two, almost two and a half years. Okay, and I remember from that time the first phase of that was first finding the trees in your forest, and then cutting them there, then splitting them in half, and then bringing them to the location where you plant the log house. 
but yeah, not really splitting them in half. That would mean uh, or, or, the lengthwise. I just cut them in uh, shorter segments. Uh, the log house is nine by nine, or six and a half by six. And a half. Six and a half inside or out, like from the the, the joints, the the middle of the corners, the middle of the logs and corners. So inside it's uh, six uh, twenty or mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, and I think when I came here because I saw an episode. I saw the first episode and I was like, I'm coming, I'm gonna help you. I think it was like that, maybe one or two were out. I think uh, two. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, walk, walk me through the whole process then. What? So I was here, I was... Uh, <laughs> I helped you build one log and that was two and a half hours. Well, not that. You peeled two and a half logs until I peeled one. And I, off, I didn't even peel it so good. <laughs> I think it's pretty normal. You never it is, it. I'm just saying. I like, peeled, it's still... uh, I don't know, high, more than hundreds of logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, is, it is normal. I'm not saying it's not normal. I'm just saying how uh, good you become that time and now we're two years after. Uh, can, me, can you walk me through all the phases? The phases just of work, log cabin work. Like, like that was uh, peeling the log house and now we are sending the inside of the logs so what happened in between you can just explain it like that if I well, yeah if I talk just about the phases of the work uh, yeah, peeling the logs was one big uh, big work it took me around uh, three almost four months. And of course, I wanted to do it good because if it's not peeled uh, nicely, then ev everything after it's hard. When you scribe uh, or all the work you do after, it's harder if you don't have a smooth surface. But yeah, after I peeled everything, and you had the right amount of logs, right? You you said something like 72. What's the number? Uh, I think 80, 80. or 82. Uh, and you're gonna use them all. Yeah, pretty much till the last uh, thing will be perfect. I just need a few more for the balcony and the uh, porch. But yeah, yeah after peeling, uh, it was the foundation that was. It would have been so hard if I would if I would done it during the summer. But in I've done it uh, in the winter when it was everything frozen and. A, I think was also some snow, so it was hard to break through the the frozen layer of uh, dirt. How did you break it? You, with the shovel, or no, I did it with the excavator. Even with the excavator, was uh, somebody helped you? I did it alone. You have an excavator. My father has it. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Okay. Uh, did that, but yeah, it was hard because the ground was frozen. So when I tried to dig. Uh, the, the 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 arm of the excavator was at the point and the, the excavator was moving around instead of the, the arm beginning but uh, yeah I've done that then also when I was cementing I don't know if you can see that in video but it was really really muddy uh, how deep were the holes? Or are the holes around uh, 70 centimeters maximum? And other were uh, depending how far I came before I came to solid rock. Uh -huh. And I didn't. First of all, I was not able to dig uh, through the solid rock because it's not that there there were rocks that you could take out, but it's whole mountain under. So I'm not worried that the cabin aside of it or something would. Uh, uh, collapse because uh, there wouldn't be enough uh, the concrete wouldn't be deep enough or things like that it's on solid rock I think it cannot go anywhere 
And let me ask you this because as I figured out, Patrick now we do a whole cement uh, plocha. Yeah, the foundation. Yeah, but he will do like yeah, a whole whole. I did just uh, yeah, points. like a plate of yeah. cement. Yes. And you did just points. Yes. What's the difference between that? I I wanted to. I didn't have uh, at the time. I didn't have <laughs> that much money to afford uh, making a whole cement uh, foundation. Mm. And I thought uh, it's enough. Just that. You can still do it now if you want. Actually, I mm. know uh, because not, you can really. Need to, yeah, you need because to dig. Because then then the cement the the cement foundation would be at the same time time the flooring of the first floor, the base floor. Uh, no, I didn't even think about it. I, I thought it's uh, a waste of uh, cement. Just doing it, everything mm. doesn't change for me. If you want to do something under or whatever, in my case, I didn't care about it because I didn't have that much money. What's next after the cement floor? It was one of the my most uh, favorite builds. The the lift that I made to to lift up the locks. Where yeah. did you Where did you found out about the lift? Like how did you? There's no finding out. It was I just invented it. <laughs> uh, again, yeah, there were. Other, my father, not, yeah, some people said you should get a lift because uh, the logs are big and uh, without a lift it will be really hard or impossible to, to move the logs. I had to put them on, uh, scribe them back down, then back on. Uh, but again, f first of all, the, the area, there was no real road to go there. So bringing a lift uh, was almost impossible. Ah, that road that we are going now was not there at the time? No, I, the, the, the bit wider road that I can now reach with the car, I did it uh, the beginning of uh, the beginning in... Less than a year ago I did it. Mm -hmm. Before that I was able to go there with tractor, but even with tractor it was really narrow some some parts where there were uh, yeah, I remember rocks and it was always uh, a struggle when I was bringing there the logs with that uh, uh, trolley or uh, I don't remember how it's called it was always uh, uh, wobbly wobbly, wobbly on, is on, the on, word. on the edge of uh, tipping over yeah. so yeah I decided to First of all, I always get a... Uh, it's just my way of doing things. I prefer uh, inventing something that uh, might seem uh, crazy or you, you might ask yourself why I just don't uh, get a lift and do it easily, but... I mean, for once it's way more expensive. <sighs> yeah, it is more expensive. But, but time-wise uh, it's faster. It's way faster and comparable. <laughs> and the the amount of work, uh, it's way way smaller. But uh, I don't know. It just gives me a much bigger bigger uh, satisfaction. Satisfaction and fulfillment doing it uh, the way I did. I mean, now that I saw Patrick and two other people, okay, there it's enough two people I for sure. Say so. our name Patrick. I don't know. Okay, now that you see our friend uh, building his own log house with a lift, it goes really fast, there were three people, and you did with your made-up lift by yourself. I mean, that just that part, it's so... It was... When I, when I, I did it on the ground, everything, because I knew that uh, if I lift just the pole, there's no way I'll be able to reach and put up uh, uh, other logs at the cross on top. So I built everything on the ground and I had no idea what will happen when I lift it up. 
my my what I imagined is that when I lift it, it will open like a, a cross. You're talking about the lift, or yeah, yeah, the yeah. lift. That when I lift it from the ground up, I don't know how gravity will open up this cross, and then it will be the the, the points, the ends of the cross will uh, come at the at the angles of the log house. And when I lifted it the first time. And I saw it how how it was opening. It was uh, I don't know. It was incredible. It, it, it was working the first time. Yeah. It's in I mean, yeah, it's in the video. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's all in the video. But it's not all. Uh, uh, there is also a lot of steps that I skip, like. Uh, Many people that watch the video think uh, from some videos they see they know me or they know what I do, but uh, I don't know, in one year I release uh, 10 hours of footage, like, <laughs> what is it, not even a half of a day, mm. it's such a small uh, segment uh, out of my life that, uh, but yeah, did the lift, it worked. I wanted to test it with the heaviest log to see if uh, if it lifts that log. I was, I hoped I was mm. uh, safe and it survived. So yeah. from there on, did the did the walls, which uh, yeah, I thought when I will do the walls, the most of the log cabin will be done. Then I just put on the roof and. That's it, <laughs> but it didn't went uh, really like that. After I I've done the walls in maybe four months, four five, uh, four months, five maximum, and then I was working on the roof way more than that and closing the the A frame under the roof and yeah, it, it's it's way longer than what I first thought, even if I knew that there will be a lot of work, there is a lot of work plus a lot of work on top of that. Plus you're also really gentle and really precise with your work. Ah, I mean, from, from my perspective, that's just my opinion. I'm and not precise. I no? maybe am gentle, but precise is not because someone that it's then again, it depends how you look precise. If you look precise, measuring everything with the level, uh, okay, okay, no, no, every, no, no, everything no, no, square, not, not precise, and these things, I'm far from it. I work almost everything without square. Without for example, square. like your side of the igloo, it's all you built also the wall. I just wanted to see it. You know, you you made it good. Everything is like you said when you build the logs, you build it good. You didn't want. Uh, it's like you don't. Precise is not the word. Uh, uh, caring, maybe. caring, maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. I like uh, working but with my hands. We are visitors again. <laughs> Yo, step a hitre. Ste hitro pršli nazaj hor. Nažalost ni bolj dolga. Bal kje samo do cesta? Ja, sme dol do cesta, ja. A tam zmanka sneh, ne. A. Za ružiš konkretno. Bolj so hitri. <laughs> yeah, even if they went to the road, it's fast. Hmm. Uh, ok. And, and and when you made the roof, what, what do you when you say you made the roof? What uh, exactly? You, what is the finish of that? In reality, the roof is still not done because I still have to put on the, the last layer of, uh, of what, the, the metal. The metal uh -huh, on yeah. the outside. Yes. Okay. I mean, also inside, I have to put the insulation on the inside uh, and close it. But I, I 
said the roof was done when it was protected from the rain. Mm -hmm. At that point I was uh, relieved that the logs and everything under was out of the, the, the wet, the humidity. Uh, and also I was able to work on the inside. Otherwise I, I was able to work only if the weather was good or mm. uh, I worked, but uh, yeah. It's not really the best when you are all wet or some things and you're, it's not possible to do them if it's raining. So now even if if the weather is not good, I can always work on the work. inside. Like these days, uh, it's snowing, it's uh, rain, doesn't matter. You can work on the inside. So yeah, I I said the roof was done, but it was just the first. The raw. The, yeah, the ju just, work. just close from the rain, the roof, mm. it's still not finished. I will do it this uh, spring. Do, did, you, did you ever uh, say or somehow tell to the people in the video that uh, the forest is from your grandparents, the land? I, I think I, yeah, I think I mentioned it, but then I felt like uh, I don't have to explain yourself. Explain to everyone. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I, as I, sh as I said, I share a small part of uh, mm. what I do through my videos, and I cannot ex then go and explain to everyone and justify uh, what is behind, because it doesn't mean that if I don't include the uh, the work, the I don't know the paperwork. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not happening. To, to get the allowance to cut the trees and other mm. things, it's not that I, I will film, uh, or if I didn't film that, that that didn't happen, because there's a lot more behind uh, happening than just what is in the video. I don't feel like I, uh, me or anyone should uh, have to justify and show these things. No, no, I was not going for justifying. I was just like, it's it's a really. Uh, what, how I see it is that you made not the best, but you also succeeded with what you had, because there is other people there that has land around you, your neighbors, but they will still won't do that. They're doing other stuff. Ah, oh, they cut this down is, even more trees than I do. <laughs> I'm not saying just cut down, but I think how the whole thing came together. The cutting down was was just a part. I'm not as, asking you to justify anything. I'm just as saying that that's a good. Uh, a good use of what's around you. That's that's it. Because when, when I was here and Kerstin told me like you know a lot of people from these parts, it's work and then home and it's dark, it's cold, you know. It's also easy to fall into that and be depressed, maybe get into alcohol or that side of things, you know. I think you really found and made your own piece and you're still building it and you made literally your house with your hands, I think that's, that side is, uh, that's probably what amazed me and then also, I don't know, the English saying is you're the real deal, I, I don't want to use those words, but what people I think, what people say they know you through 10 hours a year, uh, I think what they mean that when they would come here, they would feel the same. That's what maybe people say when they they claim they know you. In what way is the same? The energy, the way you transmit through videos, I think it's really, really similar. Again, like Nick, your phone never rings. <laughs> is this how you want to show yourself? Uh -huh. Oh. Hello. saying I don't know if I mean I think you're aware of it but in in in, in simple words you made you succeeded from what's around you Ciao. Ciao. you succeeded from what's around you and when people watch the videos I don't think they get who you are 
but they get how you work. Through your work, it's the way of you express yourself, and from that you put out a lot of, a lot of uh, things, you know. And when you when you people would come here and like know you personally, I think they would not be disappointed because that's how you do everything. Like all areas of life, you're caring and gentle. Again, speaking from my own uh, uh, experience and opinion and what I, what I see you do when uh, I'm, I'm visiting. Could be. What, what do you think you got from uh, YouTube that maybe you even didn't expect? Or even if you expected, like it... it Related what? to my channel. Yeah, like with, with the channel growing and the community maybe the people that watch, what do you got from that? Uh, you can you can put like a small well, example or in a general uh, big thing. I got uh, a way of uh, living, a way of uh, uh, income that I can provide for myself and for my family. Uh, uh, an ability to do what I what I do and uh, dedicate uh, most of my time to that. Uh, that's of course something uh, that I greatly appreciate, and uh, it's for the people watching that. Uh, I get this uh, because I could be filming videos and everything, but uh, without someone watching them, and uh, of course the way YouTube works, uh, that uh, that uh, a lot of people say they don't uh, support their creators uh, and all these things, but uh, there's I don't know how many thousands and thousands of people that uh, that live from uh, doing YouTube mm. and uh, it's a work that 10-15 uh, years ago you couldn't uh, imagine when I was growing up I always was trying to figure out what I can do that would allow me to have a decent amount of uh, time to dedicate it to my passions and uh, YouTube uh, allowed me and at the moment is allowing me that to do then I got uh, sharing videos of riding bikes when I started I met uh, I mean other people saw them and uh, through that then they wanted to see the place and uh, came to ride and I met uh, some of my best friends. I met you like that. Uh, I'm not sure I saw the video. I think maybe ah, probably somebody showed it to me. Yeah. You did the video and then somebody showed it to me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I got that. I got. I, I got to meet uh, people that were out of my area from other countries and. We became really good friends and when I go around I have a place to stay, which mm -hmm. is also really amazing. Then again, if when some of them come to me, they know that they have a place to stay here, stay where I live. It's a great exchange. Mm. Uh, Worth it kind of gave also that to me, but not, then, not at such extent. Then, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, you can call it uh, a bit of fame or whatever, people... Uh, In <laughs> how, how Okay, how does your people, fame work? I, I, ne I never saw it. Uh, it doesn't really work because uh, I don't... Uh, uh, I don't uh, 
act yeah, to, to, to right. other people <laughs> like uh, like that. So the fame doesn't work. Mm. And I I want it to not work. Did you did you get any good uh, advice from the comments when you were building? I think you were. I mean, as you build now, I know you're not, you don't actually know you're three steps ahead. You have an idea where you want to go, but you're not sure how you're going to build it. Well, the finished idea, it's uh, the finished house. I, I have it in my mind. I have the idea how I, how I want to I wanna live there. Mm. I want to raise my family there and all these things. But yeah, when it comes to, to building the actual house, I don't know, it's step by step. Where did you get the knowledge? I know firstly from the book, from experience with the chainsaw from when you were a kid yeah, and the other book things. The just the, the building of the, the shell, the walls, that uh -huh. was just that was in the book. Uh -huh, okay. uh, everything else is doing it and don't really know. I don't know. It's in you. You just have to uh, dig, dig into you and you find it. <laughs> okay. I mean, for most, for other you, people, you just do they it, dig of them. course. There, there is the the fear that many people uh, uh, get blocked by it. When I started cutting and I did uh, the first uh, wall logs, I knew I have one chance to do it. I fuck, I fuck up. Uh, the log uh, won't be use, useful anymore. I just uh, trusted myself. I knew that uh, I can do it. I've done, and yeah. Okay, maybe that's a, a common question. What, what, in what, in your opinion, how did you grow in the last two and a half years through doing all this work, like all, all together from building and from building a community on YouTube? Uh, where I grow the most is uh, inside. When it comes to building, I don't feel I learned who knows what new. Uh, uh, I feel very much in a comfort zone building. Even when a stage comes that I never done it, I, don't, I just don't know. I, somehow I do it. Uh, uh, then on YouTube uh, I just shared some videos that I did I didn't even film that much and people that watch uh, probably are not happy with that because uh, at times I disappear for months uh, Do you see that as a problem? It depends from what point of view I look at. Uh, from growing and gaining subscribers, yes, but uh, yeah, there was never the that point. Uh, was not. I tried always to not that to, to not make that my worry. Uh, collecting, it's at the end. It's behind every subscriber. There is a person, and. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't feel uh, good collecting, uh, having million uh, people and just look at million subscribers and uh, it feels like it's just uh, a number. Uh, I prefer having, I don't know, a certain amount of people watching or not watching or just having people in re real life that uh, see, appreciate and get something from what I do and I give them an opportunity to work with me and when when I have enough if we talk about money, when I have enough to, to survive comfortably uh, I don't need more than that uh, I don't need to collect these uh, numbers and go crazy with that and use myself in that uh, make it a priority and when I release the videos I like them to be to have uh, some quality to them and uh, I know I would be able to film a video every week but it would be 
less quality. Less quality, uh, less work, and more talk, more just random things. Mm. And I feel there's no point in that. Uh, not saying that other people shouldn't do it. That's their yeah, that's your that's way. Yeah. What uh, they want to do, it's it just not with me. I want to have more pride in what I do and don't sell myself just for those numbers. And does people know, uh, the people that follow you on the log house, do they know you have another channel or you don't cross those two? Yeah, I've seen some know, some probably don't know because yeah, I don't promote it through between the channels. Uh, but some people know because I've seen comments on the Sounds of Nature channel uh, uh, writing Nick, not uh, if they write Nick they probably know that I'm behind it. Mm. But yeah, I cannot say how many they know or how many don't know. <sighs> I know, I told you what... Uh, I will when come here I feel I feel calm calmer now is it because of you is it because of this the place is it because of the cold I don't know maybe it's a mix of everything but still I really I really appreciate uh, your point of view especially in nature like the details you see anytime like from that leaf from that first video I did, from when a tree is uh, sick, when uh, there is a small mouse in the snow. I mean, I know this is your environment. You walked it through many times. It's like I like like I can notice something else in the city. It's but still, there is a layer to it that is not noticing a, a, a hole where a mouse could be in the snow is not like noticing a flower in a vase in the city or something like that it's it's a different layer to it of course uh, it's and that it's vast there's many holes uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean by that the forest it's, yeah. it's huge and uh, it's full of uh, holes in the rocks in trees and everywhere and uh, doesn't mean that every in every hole or everywhere is something, but uh, I don't know. There's no, but how can I you know you you think about the sensibility to yes. to the nature to yeah. Uh, so I grew up uh, this way. I was always distancing myself from. Uh, the noise from city, from uh, parties, from all of these things, because there was just too noisy, too much, too noisy for me. And you don't drink. I, I spend a lot of time in nature alone from when I was young, really, three, four years old. I started my first uh, interest were butterflies, uh, and I spent so much time all the summer all the time in the fields uh, running behind them seeing how they act uh, how they uh, evolve from uh, the, the the caterpillar to all, all the cycle what they eat uh, and the butterflies you know really what they eat yes uh, worms or what not a, that it's not called a worm, it's a caterpillar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but what, what they eat? Yeah, the plants they eat, because each, oh. each uh, species of butterfly eats just a certain plant. It's not that you put a, 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 a caterpillar of uh, one butterfly just, uh, I don't know, on, on the tree and it will eat. Uh, if it doesn't have the right uh, plant, uh, it will not eat and it will die. So, and the butterflies were really uh, are a really sensible uh, creature. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the the wings and everything. 
they're really sensible. And when I, when I was young, of course, I looked at it uh, a bit differently. Uh, I was catching them and uh, I was trying to keep them in small houses and watch them. And the more I grew, that idea just uh, felt so so wrong. Uh, I started just going around and watch them in the field. And the the less I was trying to catch them uh, forcefully, the more the butterflies were coming to me. I don't know, I was digging and all the time there was a butterfly on me. Mm-hmm. Two, three butterflies and I was like, how? When I was catching them and running behind them, all of them were trying to escape as fast as possible from me. And Do you use that way in life? You don't force things? Yes, it taught me a lot of not uh, trying to force and run after something in sometimes also, but uh, mostly I think it's the best when you can just let things happen and they come to you, of course. Uh, I, I imagine a lot of these things. I, I dream about uh, these uh, moments also with butterflies. I had many, many dreams and I know that also that is attracting s- certain things into my life. But yeah, the, the time with butterflies and in, in forest taught me a lot, not just about nature, how butterflies survive, uh, what they eat, but uh, a deeper understanding. M- meaning, understanding behind the, behind the things. Uh. Okay, I want, I want, I have two, two, two things I would like to ask. Um, how can, can, how, put in your words the flow you get when you when you build the house uh, i can com- you can compare it to a musician you know playing a piano you can compare it to us riding bikes yeah, you can compare it to anything yeah whoever can get in the flow you just don't it, know the uh, time you don't you can know compare it to meditation you can compare it to there are days when things just fall in place and even a week where you have this uh, vision and but at times I don't have a mate- I don't have material I don't I don't know how to do it but then things fall in place and uh, at the end uh, it may be even better than better than what you imagined and probably I mean not probably I also written songs or poetry and it's the same feeling when you just start writing and uh, in one go I don't know you write a song uh, then there are times where it's hard because, I, as I said, I share a part of my life of work. Then there's so much more behind it that can affect how I work. If I'm focused, if I think about, uh, uh, if I'm worried about other stuff uh, while I work, and that, uh, of course, can get into the way. I'm not, uh, I'm not a superhuman like many would think I am. I have uh, a lot of thoughts when I when I build and at times I have a, a week where I feel uh, I get nothing done. I feel I'm I'm stuck at the same at the same uh, thing for a week for a month and doesn't do you on. feel like that with sending? Uh, I felt until uh, I started uh, sending with uh, my friend and then things started mm. moving a bit faster and yeah that's also s- a, a good and a bad thing can be that uh, a lot of times I want to do the work by myself but then there are works uh, like peeling that took me four months because I was doing it alone I could have got someone to do it with me and would be done at least twice as fast 
and also I spent a few months working with uh, one of my my great best friends uh, Nicola yeah and that time taught me a lot uh, I, I, I say it so Nicola <laughs> I was I say it so so yeah. uh, Nick Nick yeah. uh, another Nick and uh, that that uh, time taught me to work with someone else uh, and trying to trying to share the work which uh, yeah I can do it uh, by myself doesn't matter how hard it is I will find a way to do it I find it I found it much more challenging uh, dividing the work and uh, trust in the other person that uh, they will uh, do the work as I as I mean in quality the, like as well yeah yeah quality because I see the vision uh, it's not uh, a company where you go and work for the other people I work uh, for myself I see the vision uh, I have a, a higher purpose behind uh, what, I, what I'm doing but when someone comes uh, to help me it's hard for them to have this uh, vision this this drive uh, yeah. here for months in cold and doesn't matter what and keep on going uh, I, can, I, 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 can under, I understand that. I don't even I, I don't even want to expect uh, they have the same uh, drive uh, like I do working something that uh, comes from from the side of me I think that drive okay and speaking from my perspective pushes somebody to do something similar in the field they are they love their passion but your drive cannot push somebody to peel like you for months. No, because <laughs> be, behind what I do, I there's so many layers that uh, drive me, like family and uh, uh, pu pushing myself to the to the limit. Uh, well, not even get tired because it's easy get tired in a day and push over it but when it uh, like now it's two years of consistently staying patient and working and uh, not just one day going going over your limits when we, we are tired but consistent consistently over and over uh, you need to have uh, a bigger purpose than just uh, I will build this or I don't know some someone that watches sees uh, or me, my someone that sees my videos on YouTube thinks uh, I'm uh, doing this uh, to film it. If I would start uh, this way, I think there would be no way to endure to to keep on going. Okay, and. I think you are one of the persons that I know that is really good or it looks or it looks to me that you're really good to be in the present moment. Could you put it in words how you do it? Uh, a lot of times I am. There's also a lot of times I'm not. It looks like uh, maybe I am but I, I have a thought uh, uh, it's completely somewhere else but uh, how I do it I don't know I just uh, try to focus on what I'm doing and not think about other stuff uh, uh, one of the easiest things is when you focus on the sound Mm -hmm. Around you, yeah. around you, at your work, or hmm. That's uh, I mo a lot of the times I focus on the sound, and when uh, there's wind, it's easy because you also feel it on the skin. Mm. You you hear it. 
you hear it uh, when you feel it on the skin in the winter it's, uh, then it gets hard to focus on the work because if you get cold uh, then you think just about how to get warm mm. uh, but the sound that's why I also very very rarely listen to music when I work I don't know it I think when I listen to music that has words it can easily distract you and I start thinking about uh, other things at least me I, I also like that part when I want to think about something I want to uh, learn something new there is music I like to listen for example or uh, whatever people uh, talking books and other things but when I'm out in the nature the, the sound is what uh, it's the easiest to keep in the present moment or uh, the feeling the touch I uh, I always let 99% of the time I work without gloves because I like uh, the touch it's also something that keeps me in the present moment and also what you were probably asking before the, the sensibility to, to things uh, it's through, through touch and of course then there's uh, even deeper feelings uh, that uh, I almost never am able to to share with others and not, I'm don't even try there's that's one level of uh, I don't know walking in a seeing this and someone that uh, has been in something like this can know how it feels but then there's so many more uh, layers to what I see what I feel uh, what I think uh, that I keep it to myself and I think of course the, the right way okay um, I'm a little bit cold so for this part I would kind of I want to ask you what what, what do you want to do after you build a house like considering YouTube and people watching and following you said something about the sound that I really don't know. Yeah, I want to build. Not really me. I will, I will speak about this. Uh, uh, my my girlfriend, or mm. I can maybe even say my. I don't really like using the word. Okay, my, don't label it. My girlfriend, Your because partner. it seems uh, yeah, Your partner. My, my wife, my partner, whatever. Uh, girlfriend seems to give such a l little importance uh, your friend your friend it is mm. so much more than that uh, uh, she 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 wants to build the sauna she uh, she's really excited to build the sauna so I don't know and there's a whole other part uh, of me that uh, when it comes to my relationship my family and these things uh, me and also uh, her we don't want to share this because a lot of people uh, get so m s s such a twist that uh, Preferred a twisted mind about uh, a lot of things, and it's the best just to keep it between uh, between us. And but yeah, pretty sure there will be something I will build. Uh, but what is the most important? <laughs> it's to to always. Uh, Part and don't keep it in. That's uh, very important. That's very important. <laughs> no, what is the most important thing to me? 
it's uh, I'm not building the house to make it look bit of I, I am it it's a part of it but what is the most important to me it's uh, to then have a place uh, where uh, I wanna grow up uh, I wanna grow up and with uh, my family or whatever it will happen in the future. I can live there. And live in a certain way, more close with the nature. That's that's what uh, matters to me in the future. Maybe YouTube uh, will not work anymore, or I will not feel like doing it anymore. That's what matters to me. Okay, I want to thank you for all of this, for sitting here in the cold and speaking about yourself. And I want to ask you if you want to add something. I could add uh, so much. You could I talk, know, I know. Talk here. Now, uh, now in this moment, do this, you want to uh, add something? Yeah. I don't know. I, would, I think the, what I can say, uh, knowing that the video is done more for an interview, not uh, to be nice, is to thank. Uh, Everyone that watches the videos and uh, that supports me. Uh, yeah, mostly the people that watch the video that I don't see in between me and you because those people I prefer saying thanks or whatever when I see them. And my parents, I, I have big thanks to, to, to them, to, uh, to Mini. Yeah, to my dog, to, to my dog, because she is always there with me, always, uh, always has patience, never gets bored. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to say thanks to people that uh, I see in my life. I do that uh, person to person, and I would like to say to people that uh, watch my videos uh, that uh, to just perceive the videos as they are and don't try to think they know everything and not not just uh, about me, but I see so commonly this thing uh, about uh, uh, famous people on YouTube or famous people that uh, uh, from watching a certain segment of their life it's so easy to think that that's their life, they must live a dream or something uh, there's a lot of other stuff behind it and, uh, That, that's something I don't like about this uh, internet thing. culture or mm -hmm. this famous uh, being famous or whatever because it's uh, it's very fake uh, s someone thinks uh, or they, they, they show them themselves as the happiest person through the videos and it's far from that and you you are fooling uh, yourself by making those type of videos and trying to convince others and and uh, you fool others thinking that you are that you 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 lie to yourself and you lie to, to others and uh, it's all uh, one big lie and <laughs> and this is how we came back to the thing that people think they know you because i don't think you're fooling yourself with this video and this is that what we mentioned before 
you know you're not fooling yourself you're not fooling you're not trying to fool anyone you you put it out as it is if somebody will like it okay if i mean watch it okay if not also okay with you and that's why i think people there were also moments think, i mean I, i know exactly what you mean by people knowing you but there is no uh, what, what they see there is what they can expect here it's it's also not easy to to uh, stay away from it i have to constantly remind myself i have to constantly be aware because there were moments where i got a bit lost then luckily i have a uh, i have people around me like uh, my girlfriend she is a big help with that, with that because she is always always honest she feels i shared something that uh, is not truly part of me or at least uh, uh, I am very open I share everything with her so she knows to a great degree uh, how I am and uh, there were moments when I went a bit off path uh, uh, thinking I will make this video in a way that maybe it will get uh, more views or I shared something to boost my my ego I talked about something uh, to to make me feel greater or whatever uh, and yeah at times uh, after when I went back watching the video I saw something I was like uh, that was do, do, you, or, yeah. do you do you punish yourself in this moment? <laughs> like you know, no Nick, bad, no, yeah, bad I, Nick. I hammer and then I I, I accidentally hammer but myself. Not but not accidentally, yeah, it was on purpose. Intention. Yeah, and I bad. make it look like oh no, oh no. Yeah. Of course, I. We all punish ourselves. Uh, thinking we're not good enough and these things uh, but I also don't want to do that I want I just want to see what uh, where I went wrong and to not, not repeat that uh, there is not much punishing need, need, not much punishing needs to be done it's just uh, you need to be aware of uh, where you went wrong dude when I met you five years ago, you weren't speaking this much. I think we're done for today. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks. And also, it's a, it's a good spot for the interview. Maybe we should come here every time. You <laughs> hug, <laughs> man. Wise words. Let's see if we filmed some some it's of this. Also, when I <laughs> we're still going. <laughs> oh, no, no, just forget the interview. Uh, I'm just cold. <laughs> also, when I uh, then re rewatch or re listen to this, uh, I don't really like it. Also, the talks I do in the videos, uh, yeah, it start, starts coming out of me, and. At times it's honest, at times, as, as I said, uh, maybe the ego wants to make uh, things mm -hmm. uh, more uh, uh, incredible, more uh, like I've done something incredible and yeah, stuff like that. Then uh, a lot of times when I go back, there are some certain... The work, I, I never go back and uh, not like watching it, but some talks or stuff like that, uh, I don't like uh, listening to it listening to it again because uh, okay but s take it from my perspective if you're trying to be there all the time and then you drift a little bit like I said for the ego or talks that you don't like I think it's just you're human in the end like yeah. it's not it's, and you're like trying to always speak from the heart so even if you drift a little bit it's not, even, it's will, not uh, even wrong because those, yeah. those drifts then uh, makes you human also yeah and showed me uh, uh, what what even is wrong otherwise I would not even knew uh, that I 
yeah. who I am without without uh, knowing who I'm not. I would not be able to know who I am uh, without uh, uh, doing something that was not me. I would not know that is not me. I don't know. Uh, I also, for a long, long time, I was avoiding city. I never wanted to go. Even going down for hours or days was just too much for me. But uh, then I spent months uh, in the city. But it, it came from within me this uh, this will to to do it, and I found out uh, that is not me. Now I can truly say that is not me. Otherwise, uh, uh, I I thought, but I think without doing something that it's not you, you cannot know what it what it is you. Of it's course, you cannot you yeah. cannot try. All of the things, some things uh, you can do it through, uh, like you said, through other sensible, uh, sen sensitive, uh, uh, I don't know, meditation and uh, learn, seeing other people's uh, experience and uh, learn from that because if. Uh, each person in their lifetime would want to experience everything to, to see if they like something or they don't. Uh, yeah, I think that's not enough time. Not enough time. And also, some things with time you start feeling like you know it from a past life or someone, some, I don't know from where. Like you ask me how I know to do certain stuff, and also other people ask me, like, have you done school or whatever, I don't know, I just, it just comes from somewhere in, from within me, uh, like I've learned it in a, a past life or two.